Hi guys, tomorrow is Thanksgiving and today I'm making a pecan pie. To be honest with you, I've never made a pecan pie before. I've made like an apple pie in the past, but it was a long time ago. So this is gonna be very interesting. The first thing I gotta do is to make the pastry crust. So that's what I'm gonna do. I already have my flour measured here and now I'm gonna add the salt. I'm using the Himalayan pink salt just to add extra benefits. Mix that in. I'm going to need to cut in the butter. I already have the butter cut into smaller pieces right here. So uh, let's see how it works. Now it says I need to add water, cold, cold iced water. Four or five tablespoons. One tablespoon at a time. If you know how to make pie crust, you're probably sitting there and laughing your butt off just watching me do it the way I'm doing it because I have no idea whether I'm doing it right or wrong. But I got a duo here, so that's good. <laughs> So now they say roll the dough onto this rolling pin. Well, it's easy to say. How do you do it? Alright, and then they say transfer it into the pie dish. Now they say trim the edges, but I have no idea how to do that, so I'm just gonna kind of fold them under. Just pinch the edge with two fingers and squish with this thumb. Well, I think it came out looking okay. I don't know if you guys can see, and this is what it looks like. All right, so now I'm gonna just remove all the things and get the stuff for the filling and I'll be right back. Okay, so far so good. I'm gonna start the oven at 350 degrees. And now it's time to make the yummy part. So the recipe says I need three to four eggs. My eggs are kind of small, so I'm gonna be using four and just supposed to Beat them slightly, I guess. Have a label. Hmm. Oh my god. Oh, well, maybe I shouldn't add that one. Guess the last ingredient would be pecans. And we need one cup and a quarter. One cup and the old sticking. In the quarter. I don't always follow the recipe. Hmm. I wonder, should I add more pecans? Maybe I'll put some on top. Let's see how this comes out first. Alright, so 
there is my crust beautiful crust I know what a rat huh <laughs> just just pour it into the crust I'm gonna add a few pecans because I feel like there's a lot of them here, a lot of them here, and not a whole lot on this side. I love pecans anyway, so couldn't hurt, right? Wow, it looks pretty. So it says in the recipe that I need to cover it with foil at first. So I prepared my foil here. I just cut 12 by 12 inch uh, foil and I cut a seven inch in diameter circle in the middle and I'm gonna put that on top of our crust it's very liquid right now gotta be careful moving it around all right so now I'm just gonna put it in the oven whoa whoa I guess the oven got a little too hot but it's okay right Sorry guys, one second. Ah, uh, what do I do? What do I do? Okay, now that the pie is in the... Oh my god, um... Sorry guys, just one more second, please. Yes, that will do it, right? So anyways, I was saying that we put the pie in... Oh my god, just one more second. Whew, I think now it's done. Where was I? Oh yeah. So we're gonna keep the pie in the oven for 25 minutes. So I'll be back in 25 minutes. So guys, it's been 25 minutes and I'm gonna take the pie out of the oven to remove the foil. It's still really, really liquid. Well, let's see, is it hot? Is it hot? It's all right, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of hot, so be careful if you do that. And it's just gonna go back in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. I think it's time to take it out. Oh my God! Um. Uh, I got a fire here. Can I get an extension? <laughs> Guys, I did it. My very first pecan pie. It's so beautiful. I'm so proud of myself. And I would like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I hope to see you in the next one.